The latest developments surrounding the escalating tensions in the Middle East, France has called for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. The French Foreign Ministry has strongly condemned the recent Israeli attacks that resulted in the deaths of dozens of civilians, including tragic incidents at an orphanage, school, and a family home in Khan Yunus. With medical sources reporting at least 79 fatalities in the region, France has reiterated its urgent demand for the unconditional release of all hostages and an immediate ceasefire. China has also voiced deep concern regarding the rising tensions in the Middle East, particularly criticizing the violation of Lebanon's sovereignty. The Chinese Foreign Ministry has stated that the failure to achieve a ceasefire in Gaza is at the root of these escalating tensions. They urge all global powers to adopt a constructive role in alleviating the crisis and have called for a comprehensive and lasting ceasefire in Gaza to be established as soon as possible. The Kremlin has responded to the growing unrest by calling for restraint from all parties involved in the conflict. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov expressed alarm over the developing situation, particularly in light of the Iranian attack on Israel. He condemned actions leading to civilian casualties and emphasized the importance of exercising restraint amidst escalating tensions. In Saudi Arabia, Economy Minister Faisal al-Ibrahim has expressed hope for de-escalation and dialogue amid the ongoing turmoil, addressing concerns about Iran's missile attacks against Israel, he characterized the situation as unfortunate but underscored the necessity for collaboration to tackle these challenges. In a recent statement, the Israeli military reported that several missiles fired by Iran struck inside Israeli Air Force bases. Fortunately, there were no casualties or damage. The military clarified that no offensive infrastructure or capabilities at these bases were affected and aircraft remained unharmed. Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni is set to host a call of group of seven leaders to discuss the escalating crisis in the Middle East. Emphasizing Italy's commitment to a diplomatic solution, Melanie convened the leaders' meeting following growing concerns over recent developments, including Iran's missile attack on Israel and instability in Lebanon. Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim is set to arrive in Pakistan on Wednesday for a three-day official visit. His arrival follows that of Malaysia's Foreign Minister Muhammad Hassan, who landed in Islamabad earlier today and was welcomed by additional Foreign Secretary Imran Ahmed Siddiqui. During his visit, PM Ibrahim will meet with his Pakistani counterpart Shahbaz Sharif to discuss key regional and global developments. Their discussions will cover a wide-ranging agenda aimed at strengthening Pakistan-Malaysia ties across various sectors, including trade, energy, agriculture, tourism, and cultural exchanges.